We are post the first block of sessions at Reflect 2023. I'm here with Christina, who was one of the first speakers. And I want to find out a bit more about the things that you brought up in your session. I really got a strong sense that you have boldly created your career, essentially. Would you say that's true? I think I came to a point where I realized I'm the only person that's going to take control of this and drive it forward. No one else is going to do it for me. And that's where I started kind of doing these things and taking control and being proactive because, yeah, no one else is going to do it for you. You're the only one in control. Um, so make it happen for yourself. I have to say that the one about talking to people at work and making a plan about your own career path is a tricky one for some people. Yeah. Shyness comes into it. Yeah. Can you expand on what you mean? Basically, making a plan is something that I especially needed to focus on and show my aspirations to my management team, to mentors, things to discuss um, when it came to like one-to-one -one sessions and things like that and, and show really kind of I aspired to move further in the company and they were like, okay, so we now know that we need to give you like these opportunities and this opportunity to develop you to make sure that we can help you achieve your aspirations. So it was just something that really helped me move forward in my career. And I think, you know, you can have one at any stage of your career and it just shows something that keeps you focused on what you want to build towards. Mentors is not, it's not a official thing. It's something that we tend to just kind of experiment with. Um, are there any top kind of bits of advice you would give about choosing a mentor, keeping the relationship going, etc. Yeah, so mentoring can be informal and formal. So it may be that you've spoken to people, like one of my tips was kind of reach out to people um, in, in the company or kind of wherever. Um, and it might just be, end up being, look, let's have a follow up chat in a few months. Let's, and then it ends up being like an informal mentoring situation, or it can be kind of a formal, structured, more structured mentoring situation. But yeah, it's, it's basically about keeping those connections and keeping in touch, setting those, when should we next talk to keep that, go, to keep that relationship going. Um, should we set a date now rather than wait to set a date? Because I know life can take over and then you end up forgetting to set a date to, to actually meet up again or talk. So yeah, it's, it's making sure that you've got that set and then yeah, you can have it informally, informally. It, it depends what suits you and depends what suits the person as well. Now, because this event is called Reflect, Reflect 2023, I would love to have your reflections on being on that stage. Has anything come up for you listening to other engineers? Oh uh, yeah, it's been amazing to listen to other engineers and I think we've had a lot of things that have resonated between us all about having to reach out, having to, to be proactive, um, having to create that support network um, and maybe kind of as well thinking maybe one route might be the way in, but actually there's another form of engineering that we've actually come to love. So yeah, there's a lot of things that have resonated and it's been really great to hear other people talk about it. Is there anything after what you've heard so far that you're like, actually, I'm gonna do that? Not yet, but um, hearing about kind of biomedical engineering, which was really interesting because as I mentioned, my parents wanted me to go into like being a doctor or a, pharm a pharmacist. But actually hearing about the technology involved in the medical field was actually really fascinating to hear about. So I was like, oh, actually that side of things is really interesting and, and more interesting to me than the, the non-engineering side. So that was cool to hear about. You were someone who really brought up this idea of transferable skills. Mm -hmm. So maybe you could go from submarines <laughs> to something else, like in biomedical. You never know. And I think that's like something that I've come to realize in the last few years is that things are actually quite open in terms of what you can do next. And like I mentioned, um, you know, people you'd say, what, what's next for you? What's in the future? I'll be an oh, aerospace engineer, I'll be working in aircraft. Actually, there's lots of different things I could do that I never thought about before because I didn't think wider than that. So I was kind of in the box of aircraft and aerospace, but actually engineering is transferable skills that I can use elsewhere. I did systems engineering and, you know, systems are applicable everywhere. So 
Yeah, there's so much out there that I've not thought about yet and who knows where the future leads. You're such an amazing role model for engineering. What would you say to anyone that's on the fence thinking, I wonder if it's for me or not? Or... Like anything, do what you love. Um, engineering is something that I love. I love solving problems, I love being creative. And anyone thinking about engineering, if you love solving problems, the world has a lot of problems that need solving in lots of different areas. And if you want to be a part of that, then go for it. I think that's one of the major things that I take away from your talk is when you said I wasn't the best at school, didn't go to my preferred university. But look at you now, like it can be done. <laughs> what has been the one thread that has gone through all of that career journey? Persistence. Um, like I mentioned, you know, there was a lot of things to overcome. Um, I had to, as well, a bit of stubbornness in proving my parents wrong in that I made the right choice to do engineering, which they say is the best thing I ever did. So that worked out well. But obviously there was, there was, there was failures in there. It wasn't a straightforward journey. I could have given up, but I chose to persist and I've got to where I am now and the future is open. Well, there you have it. You've heard from Christina, a real gem in STEM. Global ethnic majority, I have learned today. Very important that it's majority and not minority. And those are such important traits, character traits to have, persistence, stubbornness, <laughs> and just a real belief in yourself that you can go anywhere you want with your career. You just have to truly Try.